Okay, this is take two because I didn't know what I was talking about the first time. Uh, but this is going to be how to get how to RNG manipulate for a shiny Pokemon from the Celadon game corner in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green on emulator. Uh, so let me go ahead and get my game loaded up. And while I'm getting that part set up, I'll just, you know, talk more about the process. Uh, this should, the methods I show you to do in this video should hold true for, uh, any of the gift Pokemon in this game. Like, today I'm focusing specifically on the Celadon game corner, which I've already saved in front of the, this place, but I think this should work if you want to, like, for example, the gift Eevee you get, I think... I think that's in Celadon. Or is that Celadon? You guys would know where it is. But that gift Eevee you get, uh, I think you can RNG manipulate the same way I'm doing this here to get that shiny. And then uh, the Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan gift, you can RNG manipulate to get those shiny the same way. So yeah. Uh, to be honest, once you learn the basics of this, most RNG manipulation in these Gen 3 games is the same thing, even though it's a different, like, method but a lot of it's the same uh the hardest part is just figuring out the delays and i wrote a program that helps you with that so it's really not difficult once you learn one of my methods from these videos you really that's all you need for that whole in like that set of games uh so gen 3 we are going to oh this is pokefinder in the description but first make sure you're saved in front of here and I would recommend having one slot in your party empty. Uh, I'm not sure if that's required, but I would just do it just to be safe. Just so the you can check if the Pokemon shiny in your bag. I mean, you can check it through the Lewis script we're about to use, but yeah. So save right in front of here. Uh, yep, and then I'm going to, you're going to go to Tools, Scripting, and you're going to load this script in the description. Uh, that I, yeah, you're going to load the script that I put in the description. It's my most recent, so I'm just gonna load that. And that will restart your game, which is fine. I mean, that's, we just save, so it doesn't change much. This happens every recording. It never splits these windows correctly. It's so annoying. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, uh, r right now, before we even go past the screen, we're gonna make sure we have a our Pokefinder set up correctly. So, Gen 3, we're going to go to Static, we're going to go to Manager, if you don't already have a profile set up. Go to New, Version, uh, Fire Red or Leaf Green. I'm Fire Red. Uh, you can name it whatever. And then over here, you need to get the TID and SID listed. And uh, you need to make sure that the Pokemon you have selected that you're getting your trainer ID and SID from is a Pokemon you yourself caught in this save file. Because uh, if it's one that someone traded over, the TID and SID are going to be the TID and SID of the trainer that traded it to you, which you don't need, because you want the trainer ID and SID of your player, of your save, so I'm going off of my starter, so that's easy enough for me, but there's mine, so I already have mine set up, so I don't need to set it up again, but after you set it up, make sure you select it, I have mine selected. Uh, go to the category, switch it to Game Corner, Pokemon. Uh, I just had mine on Aver because that's the cheapest one, and I don't have a lot of currency because I have not played Fire Red in a while. Uh, our seed has not been generated yet. You can sit on here for as long as you want. The advances go up as much as you want, but as soon as you actually go past the screen is when it generates your actual seed and resets your advances. So, hopefully we got a good seed, and I don't have to wait too long. 7-2-E-8, generate 3-1-2-4. Okay, that's good. So... I need to try and get this Pokemon on the 3124th advance. So, I'm before I do anything else, I'm going to create a safe state here. So, speed through this. I'm going to talk to the guy. I'm going to buy the Abra. And right here, when you hit yes, I'll show you right now. I'll just create a safe state again. Once you buy this is when your Abra is officially generated. So, you want to wait on that screen. So... I'm just going to try and get to 3,124. I'll just speed up real quick. Uh, I don't know what to say here. <laughs> okay. 3,076. I'm going to pause the game doing Control P, and then I'm going to do Control N to manually advance frames. So 3,000. 
124. 3,124, right there. Uh, yep, that looks right. And then just hold down your A button, should be X on your keyboard, and then press Control P, and what that'll do is it'll press the A button on the exact frame you unpause the game. So, uh, let's see. If I go check my bag, go to summary, it's not shiny. So, that's fine. That's like how this works in all the games. You never hit it, at least in the Gen 3 games, you never hit it immediately. So, what I need to do, I forgot to have this open already. Oh, this is not at all the right thing. Uh, give me a second while I open this up. This is just a simple Python script I wrote that just helps you calculate the frame that you need to actually aim for. You can use this for literally all of the RNG manipulation. I've used this for, I've RNG manipulated in like every Pokemon game and I've used this for like all of them. So we're just gonna run this virtual environment. I probably should have set that up, but we're gonna move this here. And our target frame was 3124. So 3124. And our hit frame, we're gonna have to figure that out real quick. So let's stretch this a bit. So seed was 72E8. The Abra we got is not shiny. So we're gonna set that to Annie. Its nature is sassy. So we're gonna set this to sassy its hidden power is fighting uh and usually that's enough to go off of but if you want to get more specific you can mine's male so i'll just uh gender male and then we can generate and we can see which one we landed on so what the goal here is just to line up this pid up here with one down here so i was aiming what was my target frame 3124 so mine's probably around that area uh, EA1, okay, I think this is the one I hit. EA, EA1FDCAE, EA1FD8, or DC8E, blah, that's a tongue twister. And it looks like the stats lineup. Okay, so I hit 3127. So we go back here, 3127. And this one, it's literally a three frame difference. You probably could have put that in a calculator yourself. So you really don't need this program, uh, but. For some of them, you get larger frame gaps, and yeah, it gets annoying sometimes, so that's why this is here. So, I now know I need to aim for 3121 instead, so I'm going to load back to my save state. Uh, you always want to make sure you create save states, because if you didn't create a save state, then all what I just did would have been useless, because I wouldn't have been able to get back to that early in the seed. So, I need to go for 3121. So... Okay, pause here, manually advance, three, one, two, one. Press X, or I mean, press your A button, control P, and you can already see over here, it's shiny, it's star. But just so you can see it in game, I'll open up my bag, summary, and there it is, simple as that. Uh, shiny Abra, shiny, that goes for all the ones at the Celadon game corner. To be honest, I think the delay for all the Celadon Game Corner ones is a difference of three. So you could, I think you can set that up specifically in Pokefinder. Like if I were to turn this back to normal, turn this back to normal, turn this back to normal, set this to star, and I set the delay to three. Yeah, that would give you the correct frame. So you could just do delay three for this. But the reason I did it this way was because I don't think the delay for all of the uh, for all the gift encounters are is a delay of three. Uh, so this is just a catch-all method to do if you don't know the delay off the top of your head. Uh, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, hope that I was able to help somebody out. Uh, yeah, that's it.